Hello friend, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on loading of multiple CSV files criteria in SSIS. So there are some, some scenarios you need to get the CSV files we are getting regularly but the, the number of records are vary from one file to one file. In some, in some files it is some number, suppose 50 numbers, in other files it is 40, in, in some files it is 70 and like that. If you want to, if you ask her to load only the records that are contain more than 40 or more than 50, then how to de design your package, what you need to do is the intention for creating this team. I am using uh, three tasks, along with first for each container to, to loop the files from the path for all CSV files and second one is data flow task which is we regularly use for uh, ETL operations and third um, next one is the script task. Script task is, is mainly to read the data within the file. Now, if you want to know uh, how many records in a particular file, if, um, script task is effectively work uh, script by creating the variable after writing some dot net code can uh, identify the, the number of the data uh, number of rows in the within the file. So afterwards, the condition, what I said earlier, we need to mention this condition in the present constant. So here uh, I already told, uh, now I am showing the data. So the, in this path, there are uh, three different files are there. So one is Bitcoin and Ethereum and Tether. All these are uh, crypto related files. Companies nowadays offer the payments to the employees in the form of the Bitcoin. So in one, uh, in one organization, these many people have opted to take the, the salaries through Bitcoin. So this is, there are 57 records there in the Bitcoin CSV. And Ethereum, Ethereum comes to, is also another type of the cryptocurrency. Ethereum has 44 members, employees are opted for Ethereum. Tether, people opted this currency and this crypto is 37. So, Bitcoin, and ethereum ethereum tether tether 37 so bitcoin csv 57 records ethereum for csv file it's 44 and tether csv file it's 37 here my, my condition is i want to load a file csv file into database tables which is having which is having more than more than 40 records so i want to load uh, i don't want all the all these files to load into the tables i want to load the file that is having more than 40 records in these three record in this Three CSV files, only first two are eligible to load, and that other is not supposed to be loaded into the database. Now, how to design this package, how to do it, I will show you. This is my table name that um, the same structure and the same schema. What I have shown ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and a crypto type. Crypto. So now I am designing the package to, uh, to load multiple files. What we can do, take the container for each loop container. We want to load any multiple files from a particular folder. For each loop container is effectively work as we, we all know. So before con configuring this, we need to create two variables. First for file path, taking file path, data type is string, and value, uh, value uh, I will put it later in expression. And next one is <coughs> record count. This is for knowing the how many records uh, in a particular folder. The int type is uh, data type, and value is by default it's zero. Now I am dragging the data flow task inside the for each loop container to configure double click. My input source is the flat file. I am taking the flat file source. Double click. New. Browse. So from this folder, I am taking the 
any file you want. I'm taking the first file. Columns here for five columns. And at once, if you want to change the data type, so ID by default it will take the string data type. Now I'm changing this as a four byte kind integer, which is compatible to the database table. Okay, next I am taking the OLDB destination. My server name is admin and my database is sample. I am selecting the table as crypto underscore TBL and the mappings. No need to do any manual mapping here. Okay, configuration is done for the data flow. Now, <coughs> Some tricky part here is uh, to write the script task, trillion uh, script task here. I am dragging the script task also within the for each container. I am getting connected this with the data flow after writing the code. Now before that we need to configure the for each collection and for each file enumerator and you take this path. <coughs> Path and paste the folder <coughs> folder address here. And here I am starting uh, in my path, there is no text and uh, Excel files, only CSV. Uh, that's why I am directly mentioning it as a star.csv. Coming to variable mapping, I am mapping here file path as 0, index starts with 0. Okay. Now I am configuring the script task. So for scripters, there is three lines of code. Uh, that is, first we have to turn, select the uh, select the read-only variable here. File path here is the read-only variable, and a read-write variable comes to record count and edit the script. Now it's getting opened. You know to mention the while dealing with the files and folders, you know to mention namespace system dot type. dot ivo is the length and, and closed with semicolon. After that, there is uh, three lines of code here. I will explain the code and I will also mention in the description box the code. Here I make three lines of code. We need to read to read the file to read the number of records from the file in the path. So first one it is a uh, local variable uh, in C uh, string type string data type. It will it will collect the it will collect the variables that are declared in the user variable. We already created one way user variable file path and converted it to the string data type. And there is one more very vari local variable I need to create is a record count into data type. What it will do? It will read all lines uh, read all lines from the file. File here is the file path, which is in the, which is in this path. So it will read the the record count will read all uh, read all lines within the file from the given path as per the length. So afterwards it will connect it. It will store it in the uh, uh, REC CC entity. It is also we have created at the time of the starting of the packet. This is one more variable. After uh, after reading all these variables, then that value will store in this user variable. This is a file code. Very simple. Now I am saving this. Uh, Code, close it towards okay. Uh, only two things here you need to do before running the packet. First one is go to collection manager, file collection manager, and uh, go to properties. Here you, you need to make it as a dynamic the package, uh, make it make, to make it as a dynamic, you need to write some expression. In this, you need to select the connection string and write expression variable and drag the file path into expression and then, now if you evaluate you didn't get anything so because the, at the time of the running of the package only the evaluation value will be iterate every time and change it so close it okay now the last step you need to do here here is to write the condition in the precedence constraint. So between the script task and uh, data flow task, 
just double click and uh, here in constraint and expression expression and constraint is there to the right and uh, in expression there are three dots is here select them and drag the record count here you, you have to write the count the condition here so what is our condition we want to load want to load csv file which is having more than 40 records that is our condition so i am greater than 40 if you evaluate the truth and evaluate the value will evaluate and okay we want to test you know to test here validate successfully so everything is set now after running the package just one not one records only getting loaded into, into this disk so it will read all the files and take only bitcoin and ethereum and leave the file at other dot csv because of having just 37 records but our condition is 40 so i am going to run the package now yeah it ran successfully now we will see how many records are there in the table see here or not there is no tether all are ethereum and bitcoin there is no tether data so this is how you need to load as per the condition hope this video is helpful to you thanks for watching the video thank you everyone.